Welcome. Many of us are familiar with speed tests on the internet. You can go to speedtest.net or Google has a speed test and you can test the connection you have to the internet. In this video I'm going to talk about how to install a speed test on your Windows computer that you can use to test the speed on your local LAN. So I think one of the main reasons someone might want to do this would be to test their Wi-Fi on their local network. So we need to install the Open Speed Test server. So I'll go to my web browser. I'll just search for Open Speed Test. I'll go to this first link here. I'll click on Downloads. I'll scroll all the way to the bottom. I'll scroll up a little bit. And here we see Download Speed Test Server for Windows. I'll click on that. It's downloading. So some things to keep in mind before you run speed test. It's a good idea to make sure that your computer's not doing a bunch of other things. So you'd probably want to close any applications. You'd also want to make sure it's not doing any backups or you want to make sure it's not doing Windows Update. So I can click on my settings. I'll go to Windows Update, Update and Security. And right now it says it's downloading. I think it's about to install this one. So I am going to ignore my advice and do this during these tests because I'm just demonstrating it here. But if you want to get an accurate measurement, you want to make sure your computer is not using the network resources for something else. Okay, so that's downloaded. Close my browser. Okay, so I'll go to Windows Explorer. I'll click on Downloads. It's sorted by date modified. So HTML5 network speed test Windows is at the top. I'll double click on it. Okay, Windows popped up a security alert. So it says allow open speed test server to communicate on these networks and it's checked for private networks. So I'll say, okay, I'll allow access. And now we have the speed test server up. So we can take this URL here and I'll copy it. And then I'll go to my browser, close this out. And I'll paste that in. And now we have the speed test up. So I have this running on my Windows 10 computer and the Windows 10 computer is plugged into Ethernet. And now you can go to this IP address URL on any device on your network that has a modern web browser. So that could be an iPhone, Android phone, Mac, PC, Linux, maybe even other media devices like TVs it might work on. And you can test your network speed connecting back to the Windows 10 computer. So I'll run the test here on itself and you can kind of see what it looks like. So here we're getting near gigabit ethernet speeds. It sometimes pops above it. And here the upload speed is quite a bit above gigabit. It's about one and a half gigabit. And I'm not sure what determines that speed when you're running it on the same computer. So now I'll go to another computer and pull up this website and we'll run the test there. Okay, so now I'm on my Lenovo Flex 3 laptop and it's running Windows 10 also. So I'll open up a web browser and this is a very slow computer so I'll be speeding up the video quite a bit here. So I'll type the IP address and port in given to us by the server. Okay, so the speed test is loaded. I'll hit start. Now it's running the test. So this is on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, but as you can see, it's pretty slow access here. Okay, so we got around 40 megabits per second download and upload speeds on this. So now I'll switch over to my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. Okay, so it's switched over. To rerun the test, I'll just refresh the page. And then I'll hit start again. Okay, so we got faster speeds there. We got about 150 megabits per second download and around just under 100 upload on this. So we found out that the five gigahertz network is faster. So if you're running this in your house or office, you could take your laptop to the places you use it. So in an office, it might be your office and the boardroom, and you could test the speed in both of those locations using different Wi-Fi networks or something. And you can certainly test ethernet networks too. I'll plug the ethernet network in here and I'll turn off Wi-Fi. Okay, now it's connected to ethernet. I'll refresh again. I'll start the test. So 
So here we got around 180 megabits per second download and a little over 400 megabits per second upload. So as you can see, the networking on this laptop's not very good. And the way I know it's not very good is that if I go to another computer and run this same test, I get much higher speeds. So to recap, your best option is to install this on a computer that's connected to your main network with Ethernet, and then make sure you don't have a lot of stuff running on that computer that could be taking up the network resources. And then test your speed on the device you want to test it on, but also test it on other devices so you can compare the results. So I think this is a great tool to have in your network testing arsenal. And that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.